Hey guys, it's Ethan here with the Fisher Protocol. Just a little quick one for you um, uh, to fill the time. Basically, I just wanted to show you really quickly some of my Who inspired guitars. Um, some are really cool, some are eh. This is, uh, most people just think might be this be the eh. It's just a Gibson Ep uh, Epiphone, not a Gibson, an Epiphone EJ um, Natural, the way, you know, Pete would have his SJ. 200 this is the ej 200 and i just threw on my uh trusty by number sticker there so um that one's pretty cool it's been with me for a very long time uh, at least since 2007 or so um i love it i wouldn't go anywhere without it show you the next one okay so this is my uh 2007 um, Eric Clapton uh, signature Stratocaster, but it has been updated with everything. A list I got from um, uh, the who.net who tab site for, uh, and I guess from Alan Rogan. Um, it's got the Paizo VMV power bridge um, with the extra knob there for the Paizo. It's the Clapton, so it has the um, mid boost already. It's got Spurzel lockings on there. And uh, it's got three gold lace sensors, which were added in. So I like the look and the sound of specifically Pete at that 96, 97 Quadrophenia tour. And this is um, kind of the model for that. Um, it's definitely been, his has been updated since that, of course. And they've released a signature one of his. I think it was like 6,000. This was just a Clapton I had modified. It already um, had the tremolo blocked, I believe. And this one has the tremolo block too. Uh, it's my pride and joy. Love this guitar. It is pewter, which I always thought was cool, even though I know Pete had red and gold and black. But, um, you know, this is it. And as Alan Rogan says, the Paizo is always on 10. <laughs> it's always on 10. Um, love this guitar. All right. So uh, this is the last one here. Um, sorry about the, uh, back light there. This is hopefully it's the only one in the world like it. Um, a Baltimore, uh, guitar artist named Jeff Ritzman did this for me, uh, around that same time, 2007, 2008, whatever, maybe 2005. Um, he would come into my guitar store that I, uh, worked at and he would, um, he would, uh, bring in these amazing Iron Maiden guitars. And I really wanted one painted for the Who. Of course, I had to get the most expensive one. That was also an SG because it's Pete. Um, but, you know, he did that on the headstock. Nice British. He got uh, Pete from the uh, Maximum R&B poster there for me, painted perfectly. And on the back, commemorate live at Leeds, which was an SG. I got that. So uh, I need to put P90s in this. I've never actually played this too much out, but... This is a crown jewel of the collection. And uh, for the most part, every every musical instrument I have is in some way connected to the two, but these are the main guitar ones I have. And uh, I thought you guys might uh, appreciate them. That's it. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.